This video is going to show you the solution to an example problem where we find the force felt on a current carrying wire due to the magnetic interaction of a, of a current in a separate wire. So to begin with a little explanation about the currents. Physics is about the study of matter, energy, motion, and force. Because of that, we talk about energy flowing from a high potential to a low potential, or objects flowing from a high potential to low potential in exchange of energy. On a battery, the positive terminal is at a higher potential than the negative terminal and energy is delivered by charges. So we define current as a way of representing the flow of the charges that deliver the energy. Therefore, current is represented by the movement of positive charges. So current goes from the plus side of the battery to the negative side of the battery. And electrons travel in the opposite direction of what we define as our current. If you define current as the flow of negative charge, then instead of using what we call the right-hand rule, you'll be using the left-hand rule. So this video may not be of much help to you. So in this example, we're looking at the force felt between two current carrying wires. Two wires are separated by 10 centimeters. The wire on the left carries 15 amps, that's the blue one, and the wire on the right carries 11 amps, that's the yellow one. Each wire is 5 centimeters long, and the wires are attracted, or the first question is, are the wires attracted or repelled from each other, and by how much force? And so if you've been following along, we can actually use information from some of the previous problems. First off, I'll tell you now that the wires are attracted. But the question is, why are these two wires attracted to each other? So we use the closed right hand rule to figure this out, and Ampere's uh, law. So when I look at this, I've got my thumb in the direction of the current coming out of the screen, and my right hand's curving around, so that's the direction of the magnetic field. And I can see the tangent to the circle in between the two arrows that's going upwards. The other wire's coming out of the screen as well, using the right hand, thumb's the direction of the current coming out of the page, and my fingers again showing the direction of the magnetic field, and that's going down in between the two wires. So one field goes up, one field goes down, and we know when fields travel in opposite directions, they're attracted to each other. So the first part of the question, I know these two wires are attracted. Now let's find the magnitude of the force of attraction. And the force of attraction is equal and opposite between the wire on the right to the wire on the left. So it doesn't matter which one I, I really focus on. So here's a little hint about how we're doing our strategy. We're going to use Bill sine theta to figure out the magnitude of the force of attraction between the two wires. And we're going to use B is equal to mu naught I divided by 2 pi R to find the strength of the magnetic field that goes in the Bill sine theta formula. So here's how we're going to solve it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the B field strength due to the, wi the blue wire on the wire, let's see, on the yellow wire. So the blue wire on the yellow wire. So I'll find out that magnetic field strength is mu naught I divided by 2 pi R. And that I is going to be the current going through the blue wire that determines the magnetic field at the yellow wire. So 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 tesla meters per amp times 15 amps divided by 2 pi times 0.1 meters. And that's the B field strength on the yellow wire. So that gives me 3 times 10 to the negative 5 teslas, or 30 microteslas. And it's going upwards from what we figured out earlier. Now to find the force, I'm going to use bill sine theta to find the force. So to do that, I'm going to use the strength of the magnetic field that I just calculated for B, the current through the yellow wire, which is 11 amps, and then the distance um, or the length of the wire that's in the magnetic field, which is 5 centimeters. And of course, sine 90, they're perpendicular to each other. And that gives me the force, the magnitude of the force, to be 1.65 times 10 to the negative 5 newtons. And it's pulling it towards the left. Of course, we kind of knew that because they were being attracted towards each other at this point. 